Senator Matthews. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that further proceedings under the roll call be dispensed with and the Sergeant at Arms be instructed to bring in the absent members. On the motion, all in favor say aye. All opposed say no. Motion prevails. Members, please stand for prayer. Today's chaplain is Reverend Martin Erickson from Como Park Lutheran Church in St. Paul, and following the prayer, remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Reverend Erickson. I wish you a happy Purim and a happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Mike Lynn tried to find an Irish Catholic priest for today's prayer, but they're all booked. <laughs> you, ha you have an old Norwegian. Let us pray. Gracious God, in the face of warfare in Ukraine, we give you thanks for all this world's democracies, for recognitions of human and civil rights, and protections under the law for free speech and the right to vote. We pray for an end to this war and for the consolation of all who grieve its ravages. We give you thanks, O oh God, for the freedoms we enjoy as citizens of these United States and our own state of Minnesota. We ask, O oh God, that you teach us cooperation even in the face of enmity and division so that we might work together for the common good and the world you made and love. Lead us to fuller inclusion of those who are aging and differently abled, people of color and immigrant status and refugees. Keep us from pride, self-interest, and division. Make us mindful of your presence, grace, and calling in all that we undertake and bring a fruitful peace to all the world, to hearts and minds of every nation, tribe, and class, and race, so that both now and in the fullness of time, your grace may be fully known. Amen. Amen. The secretary will take the roll. Senators Abler, Anderson, Bach, Benson, Bigham, Carlson, Chamberlain, Champion, Clausen, Coleman, Swazinski, Dames, Dibble, Dornick, Dreheim, Duckworth, Dietzik, Eaton, Eichhorn, Eakin, Fate, Friends, Gazelka, Goggin, Herr, Hoffman, Housley, Howe, Ingerbritson, Isaacson, Jasinski, Johnson, Johnson, Stewart, Kent, Kiffmeyer, Klein, Coran, Kunish, Lang, Latz, Limmer, Lopez, Franzen, Marty, Matthews, McEwen, Miller, Murphy, Nelson, Newman, Newton, Osmick, Pappas, Port, Pratt, Putnam, Rarick, Rest, Rosen, Rood, Senjum, Thomasoni, Torres, Ray, Utke, Weber, Westrom, Weger, Wickland. Pursuant to Rule 14.1, the following members intend to vote under Rule 40.7, Isaacson, Kent, Lang, McGuin, Thomasoni, and Wickland. A quorum is present. Going to the fifth order of business, reports of committees, call on Senator Miller. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the committee reports printed in the agenda be adopted. On the adoption of the committee reports, all in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. The motion prevails. Our next item, the sixth order of business, second reading of Senate bills. The secretary will read the Senate file numbers. Senate file numbers 3413 and 3065. The Senate files have been given their second reading. Seventh order of business, second reading of House bills. The secretary will read the House file numbers. House file numbers 2353, 2819, 2945 and 2875. The House files have been given their second reading. Eighth order of business, introduction and first reading of Senate bills. The bills listed on today's introduction calendar are given their first reading and referred as indicated. Ninth order of business, motions and resolutions. We will adopt the author's motions as listed on one motion. All in favor, say aye. Those opposed, say no. The motion prevails. Next, 
under the same order of business nine, Senator Rood. Mr. President, I move that House File Number 2819, Number 36 on General Orders, be stricken and re referred to the Committee on Finance. And Senator Rood, this is your bill? Yes, Mr. President. Thank you. On that motion, all in favor indicate aye. Opposed? No. Motion prevails. Senate Resolution Number 109 will be re referred, or referred to the Committee on Rules and Administration. Remaining under the order of business of motions and resolutions, we will take up the confirmation calendar. Senator Kiffmeyer. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the report from the Committee on State Government Finance and Policy and Elections, reported March 16, 2022, pertaining to appointments, be taken from the table. On that motion, all in favor indicate aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Motion prevails. Senator Kiffmeyer. Mr. President, I move that the foregoing report be now adopted. On that motion, all in favor indicate aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion prevails. Senator Kiffmeyer. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that in accordance with the report from the Committee on State Government Finance and Policy and Elections, report of March 16, 2022, the Senate, having given its advice to now consent to and confirm the appointments of Campaign Finance and Public Disclosure Board members. And so these four members that we have before us today, I will start with Ms. Uh, Margaret Lepic, known as Peggy. Peggy is fulfilling a position uh, for former Republican legislator appointed by the governor. Uh, Ms. Lepic formerly held the as chair of Higher Education Finance Committee from 1991 to 2003, and also served on the Met Council from 2003 to 2011. Uh, the second member that we're looking to confirm today is Mr. Faris Rashid. He is holding a position appointed by the governor and the board of not having served in public office before or held a party office other than a precinct delegate. He supports the DFL party and currently works with a Minnesota uh, law firm and many other credentials, which I, which I won't go into today. These are all highly qualified individuals. Uh, the next appointment uh, confirmation that we're working with is Mr. David Asp. He's also holding a position appointed by the governor uh, that is, again, not held office or political party higher position than a precinct delegate. And he supports the Republican Party and also currently with the Minnesota law firm and many other credentials as well. Our fourth confirmation is Mr. Stephen Swanson. Mr. Swanson, again, is holding a position appointed by the governor of an unrestricted board member who supports the DFL party. Uh, he has many, many official judicial uh, positions that he has held in Minnesota uh, nationally and statewide, and we appreciate his significant judicial experience in bringing that to the board. And these are the four members uh, that we are bringing forward today and recommending that they be confirmed. Thank you, Mr. President. On Senator Kiffmeyer's motion, discussion. President, there are other members who would like to speak to it. Yes. Senator Latz. Uh, Mr. President, members, uh, thank you. Um, I have the privilege and honor of knowing two of these members from uh, previous work, not their current work on the Campaign Finance Board. Uh, now retired Representative Lepic um, is a constituent of mine, um, and uh, she was also my Met Council representative uh, for a long time. Um, and. Uh, uh, was my immediate predecessor in the House seat uh, when I first entered the legislature. Um, I've, I've known her to be an absolutely exemplary public servant, and uh, I'm proud to be able to support her 
uh, a nomination here today. And Judge Swanson, who I appeared in front of over the course of years um, in my legal work when he served on the bench, uh, has a, a terrific uh, demeanor and uh, a measured and, and uh, intelligent and studied approach to deciding issues. And uh, I know that he does the same on the Campaign Finance Board. Um, and I would encourage members to support both of those nominations. Senator Carlson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And as the ranking member in the State Gov Finance and Elections Committee, I'd like to express our support for these four fine people to be re reappointed to the Campaign Finance Board. Uh, we did go through, have uh, uh, testimony from each of them, and there is no question that they deserve this reappointment, and we support the slate. Thank you. Further comments before we close with Senator Kiffmeyer? Senator Kiffmeyer. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I think it's really important to uh, recognize also that the confirmation of the campaign finance board members is an awesome responsibility that they have uh, to serve all of Minnesota, uh, the members of the House and the Senate, numerous things. They hold a, a great deal of important responsibility. But I think one of the most important ones is best written here by one of the um, conferees here and that uh, working diligently in a constructive way with the other board members and the executive director and staff of the board to fairly and effectively implement the law. And the responsibility really for them is to fairly implement and in the conversations either individually with them, in the presentations with them in the committee, or the writings in the letter, they've all pledged and committed to upholding the law as written and done in a fair and even-handed basis. So I want to again confirm uh, that we recommend them for confirmation. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. There being no further discussion, Senator Kiffmeyer renews her motion for approval of the candidates for the Campaign Finance Board. All in favor, indicate aye. aye. Opposed, no. The motion prevails. Turning to our 13th order of business, announcements of Senate interest. Senator Pappas. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, today is the Jewish holiday of Purim, and I just wanted to remind everyone a, a little explanation is on your desk, and be sure you um, imbibe with some of the uh, Haman Toshin that I've, with my, and with my co sponsors. I want to thank Senator Coleman, Senator Miller. Senator Hoffman, Senator Zwazinski, and Senator Latz for co-sponsoring the Heyman Taschen. Senator Lopez Franzen. Thank you, Mr. President, and I want to wish one of our members a very happy birthday, Senator Patricia Torres Rey. It's her birthday today, as well as St. Patrick, so you can make the the, the, the relationship between her name and this great day. So we just want to wish her a happy birthday. Um, I certainly would not be in my place in this legislature without her support. And I just have a special thank you for always being a good friend and a good mentor and a good colleague here in the Minnesota Senate. So happy birthday, feliz cumpleaños. Happy 39th. And members, after adjournment, uh, we will have a chance to have the Senate singers uh, regale Senator Torres Ray. So uh, Senator Miller uh, will be up here with uh, Senator Lopez friends and then we will ask you to join us as well. So heads up right after adjournment. Uh, any further announcements of Senate interest? Okay. Will the excuses, without objection, the following senators will be excused from today's session. Senator Fateh. There's no other announcements. Senator Johnson. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the Senate do now adjourn until Monday, March 21st at 11 a.m. On that motion, all in favor, aye. Opposed, no. The Senate is adjourned. And Senator Torres Ray, if you'd like to join me up here.